Πάνω ψηλά, Γιώργο, πάνω ψηλά. Πάγια παραπάνω.
ropa, ropa fuerte, por favor. Eso es. Fuerte. Dale. Ahí, 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 ahí,
Apúntalo. Va, apúntalo un poquito. Va. Venga, va.
Republic's Moises Hernandez, the opponent. Good front leg from Hernandez. Stella Gostoglu on the counter. Back leg from the Greek. So just to let you know, of course, we're trying to bring you all of the graphics, but you won't miss a single point on the board. We'll keep you up to date. As we go down ringside to see the action, the distance between the two there. Felix Stoglo with the back leg turn and kick, gets one right over the shoulder there. Three to the good for the Greek. As he grabs the headlines with that headshot punch as well. Good start from Felix Stoglo. So Moises Hernandez from the Dominican Republic up against it now. Apostolos Thelikas Stoglu manning to land that shot there. Landed nicely with the headshot. And it is Thelikas Stoglu with a well-earned lead. He's in command, he's in position. Can he make it into the final? Moises Hernandez yet to get going. And a chance to talk with Stephen Jennings, the British team coach. He gave me a little bit of tactical insight into Hernandez. And he mentioned that front leg that he's got. Can he get it going? But Felix is at the moment. Lovely footwork from the Greek. Slips around the corner. And John Given. And it's tough times for Hernandez. Not the start he would have wanted. But by way of contrast, Apostolos, Felix is to shrug your soldiers as if to say, okay, come on, let's have a fight. Well, the weight of Greeks bearing gifts are indeed big boots to the face. I'm not sure if that's how the proverb actually goes, but it's been a kick in the proverbial ambitions of the Dominican Moses Hernandez, who's struggling now, tries with a big headshot of his own, the other man in blue. Felix Estoglu is up for the fight, no question about it. Chop kick too far away, but not too far away for the Greek. Good performance. And plenty of shouts for Hellas, of course. The traditional name for all the Greeks is the Greeks firing forward. Felix Estoglu with a punch. Decent back kick attempt there from Hernandez. Of course, back kicks can give you up to four points because they're spinning techniques. You're going to need something special. Well, Hernandez just mirroring the body language now of Felix Castoglu, tries with a chop kick of his own, doesn't get anything on the board but better for the man in blue anything he can do Felix Estoglu can do better and that's been the tail of the tape so far and Moses Hernandez yet to get out of first gear at the moment back leg right turning kick better though from the big man in blue through this second period no scores on the board in the second all five collected by the Greek in the first change of stance here lack of concentration though nice little flip to the body head shot response though from Felix Estoglu as we see the overhead angle but it is the Greek that is deservedly ahead the distance between the two fighters is obvious punctuated there, nice side step as well from Felix Estoglu, who sees it coming and he see himself into the final better from Hernandez he needs to throw caution to the wind here signs of real confidence from Felix Estoglu looks at the ground, pops up the headshot an old school technique that one but Nice to see it being revisited here in Manchester. Goes for it again. 
doesn't manage it on this occasion, but he'll be very, very happy at the end of this second period. Good time for Greece. Okay, useful time for him to show it now. Goes with a push kick to the body. No real power on the shot, though. And that front leg betraying him. Good back leg turning kick from Felix Estoglu. Not an insurmountable lead, though, a six point gap. A couple of headshots, which we know that Hernandez in blue can do. But easier said than done. Change of stance. Is there any change of fortune for Hernandez? He looks pretty tired now, to be fair. A long old day at the office. Goes with a reverse turn and kick round the corner. Creates a gam joint against himself, though. And will indeed be 9 2 now in favour of Apostolos Felicus Doglu. And he's been good value for it, the Greek. Came into a relatively unknown fighter. Not too much on his resume, but he's added a World Championship final chance here. Hernandez needs something, he needs it fast. Goes with a push to the body after that headshot. And the Greek in red looking oh so comfortable here. Moses Hernandez in a bit of trouble. Apostolos Telekis Doglu on the cusp of a World Championship goal. Big spin there, but great counter kick there from Telekis Doglu. Lands it clean, and he's going to land himself into the World Championship final. Moses Hernandez tried with a couple of spins, but is it too little, too late? No damn jumps given, 40 to go on the board. Again, apologies that there's no graphics on the top of your screen. But the most graphic representation of the gap between the two. Last 30 seconds, nine points of a difference. Good shot again there from Pelicans. Doubling the way out though from Hernandez, he's got the skills. He almost rocks the Greek to his feet. And are we going to see a video replay card here? Let's have a little look at this. Who's playing the card? It may be the Dominican Republic. Just to try and catch a breath. Felix Estoglu recovers. Back kick round the corner from Hernandez. He's got about 10 seconds to try and find another big shot. Good push from Felix Estoglu. And the celebration. He knows it. It's going to be Greece going for gold. Hernandez tried the big headshot, decent from the Dominican. He's going to take bronze. But as the clock runs down. Well, Greece is the world in this one. He's into the final. Top class stuff. Moses Hernandez has the bronze, but Apostolos Felicus Stologlu takes the crown and takes the opportunity to attention. Customary show of respect, Deziri, so good in this distance here. The concentration important for Telika Stoglu in that clinch. Good back leg there from Veggie Hachigani. And of course the champions have all the skills, but they know the right time to use them. As Telika Stoglu finds his feet here in this first final. Good push kick there from the Greek. Decent start for him. Yeah, definitely. As soon as the first time they went in the clinch, you could tell he's been doing his homework on Millard. He had that right arm up to stop that left crescent coming in. Well, the technical analysis provided by Greek Britain's Bradley Sindon, the first ever world champion in the men's groupings. And the analysis is so important, as you say there. Apostolos Teleskalogu does well to avoid, but the punch lands this time. A jumping punch as well. Given that the Aziri stands at 1 meter 97, 6 foot 6, as he extends that leg again. Headshot, no response. Yeah, taking taking the clinch back straight back to him. Amazing, uh, taking up a shot, then being able to stay composed and get straight, get them point straight back. Good punch there on the way in there from Beji Hatsugani. No love from the judges. No response from the coaching corner. They're happy with that Gamjon going up. And that one, yep. Telekis Doglu acknowledging that one. 
goes without saying, doesn't want to give away those kind of free points. Beji Hapshigani, probably the most active we've seen him so far. Punch almost registering, 30 seconds to go in this first round. Yeah, he has to stay active because Millard will pick his shots off, such a long leg length, and you can tell he's constantly getting his foot on the body armour, and that take, will take a toll on the, the greaser's mind, thinking, is that going to score, is that going to score? Then the one, when you're thinking about it, it does score. So important, that insight, it's the occupying the mental territory of the opponent, living rent-free in their head, giving them fits and lots to think about. Ten seconds to go in this first period, and it's been a good start. Telekastoglu not committing too much, wants to get back to his coach and figure it out. He knows the reality now of fighting against Milan Hellas, which is for Greece. And indeed plenty of support for the Iranian by way now of Azerbaijan. Back leg turning kick lands nicely, good block there on the inside from the Greek fighter who lands that big punch there. Telekastoglu unlucky not to score. You can see both of them just putting the foot on the pad, keeping that distance. Nice punch from Millard. Yep, that accuracy, that quality. Nice shot again with a back leg turning kick. A little bit different from the Aziri. I think that's a great option, to be fair. I've seen quite a lot of athletes do it. He surprised him with that back leg straight into a crescent. And normally one of them scored, but Greece did well to cover both. Covering himself well there is the Greek, Telekastoglu, who grabs the headshot. Milad Peji Hachigani has a little look as if to say, well, that is something gone wrong on the inside. It may be a technical issue. No problem with the technique to the head. But Zhuling Fang just checking there that the batteries are included. And he'll run over for a little check with the technical people. I think it seems to be OK. Uh, we've, we've talked about it. Oh, glad that we don't have to talk about it. I thought it was going to be a little delay there. But they're back underway here. All squared at 6 all. A minute or so to go in this second round. This, of course, the final. Great, great headshot there. Just been just unlucky not to just miss or just not register. But then definitely putting his foot on the pad, like taking that weary away from Greece. Like thinking, oh, is it going to score? Then just changing, adapting the technique. Well, adapting the technique. Is the Greek, can he do something about this one? Reggie Hachigani on form. Back leg counter there. And again, good block on the inside from the Aziri. That crescent kick this time. As you said, Telekastoglu trying to do the same. Half of a minute to go in this second round. Greece is battling him really well. He's taking one of Millard's main games away from him, working on that clinch, getting that arm up then being strong in the clinch to read what's happening and be comfortable and composed, it's one of the main attributes. As you see those attributes paying off also, beginning there, Beji Hachigani steps it up. Only had a few swings and a miss with those big legs, but takes the step in, a bit of footwork from the man in red. And Telekastoglu in trouble now, that punch just sliding past. 9-6 on the board into the last 10 seconds now. Good reverse tonic kick attempt here, right round the corner. Great by both, that were a nice back leg high, just unlucky to miss, but then great counter back reverse by Miller. Don't normally see him do that type of attributes. Absolutely right. The lesser spotted reverse turning kick from the man from Baku. As he goes back, he needs it for Milad Beji Hachigani. Apostolo, Telekastoglu, the Greek fighter in blue. Can he find a way through? Good back leg attempt there. That quickness of the welterweights, the under-80s have the speed and the power. Good flick to the face, gets close. Yeah, like I said, always picking his shots, always knows exactly what to throw. But Greece is going to have to give it everything, and I think he will. You want to give everything you can. You know, you know you've lost trying. As you say, trying to go out on his shield here, Telekastoglu. Still got time. Good back leg turn and kick. Well, I'm surprised how many we've seen from Beji Hachigani. Usually using that front leg to good effect, but changing things up here. And that's a credit to the Greek Telekastoglu. Tries with a step through back kick of his own. Bit of variety now. Yeah, both of them trying things out of the locker. 
Greece needs something to come out, so big shots like that could bring him back into the game. Well, we'll start with a punch, but he concedes a headshot on the way through. Like I said, another fight. Sometimes when you do go for it, it can go the opposite way, but give everything you've got and it might not turn out in your way, but maybe the next time it will. For sure, no regrets is the mantra now for Telekistoglu. Halfway through this third round, it could be the final round as Beji Hachigani gives away the Gamjon for kicking low. Ten point game. Like I said, another, another spin coming out and it will close to just missed again, but puts him down once more. He does indeed, puts him down, and is he down and out? Goes for the big jump reverse again, oh so close. And that shows some level of fitness here, six matches later. Still leaping and kicking, what a shot. But all three finals today have been big scores, as we said, like, you not know, normally see that, but it just shows how skillful each athlete are, how we set game plans with the coaches and know exactly what to do. Yeah, game plan's working. Tactics spot on, good punch from Milad Bechi Hachigani. Trying to finish with a flourish here. Last 20 seconds, Telika Stoglu. Well, it looks like it will be silver for Greece. A real credit worthy effort. And Milad going out with a flourish. Yeah, definitely. Most sometimes athletes, even though they're that high up, they just try and leave it and try and take it to the end. But you can see Milad's enjoying it, having fun in front of the crowd, wanting to give him a spectacular. And But then Greece gave it his own back and just got a nice reverse body. He did score a nice reverse to the body, but he couldn't reverse the fortunes there. The man from Azerbaijan claims the title. Nice show of respect between the two. An emerging talent. Apostolos Telekistoglu with the silver medal.